My name is Andre Boaventura. I'm a global generative AI specialist with AWS. And today I'm super excited to introduce you to Cloud3, a groundbreaking large language model developed by Anthropic, which is now available on Amazon Bedrock. Anthropic Cloud is definitely a true AI powerhouse trained on a vast corpus of data and designed to excel at natural language tasks with a remarkable con contextual understanding. The three models in the family, Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus, allow our customers to choose the exact combination of intelligence, speed, and cost that suits their business needs. By integrating Cloud3 with Bedrock, we are unlocking a world of possibilities for businesses and developers alike. So imagine seamlessly enhancing customer enhancing customer service with intelligent chatbots, streaming, streamlining process through automated data analysis or generating engaging content at scale. So there are so many options, but that's just the beginning. With this integration, we are introducing a, a suite of new AI models and capabilities, including state-of-the-art compu computer vision models. So now you can have Anthropic Cloud 3 not just understanding text, but also analyzing images and other visual data with incredible accuracy. But when it comes to large language models, there's no one side fits all, right? We know that. But the question still remains, which should you, which should you use? So the answer is depends. The answer to a lot of questions in machine learning actually in AI is often it depends, which sometimes can be frustrating for uh, newbies or new individuals, but it depends is the answer for a reason. Design, deployment, use cases are all super varied. So there is never going to be a single answer for what you should use. In practice, AI ML is all about trade-offs and looking at what you should use, not just what you could use. So if you are interested in learning how to decide which model to choose on Amazon Bedrock, the first step is always to understand what you could choose, as this will make the decision process for what you should choose much easier. And speaking about the new models, it makes a lot of sense that Cloud3 is a family of three new models, not just a single release. Because these three models give you the opportunity to find the right balance of intelligence, speed, and cost for your use case. So which one is good enough for your use case? So again, the answer is depends on what good enough looks like for you. Sometimes you might want a super advanced model for really complex tasks involving deep reasoning. So you might choose Opus, but other times you just want to be super fast and you want to uh, be more economical as well. So you might choose Haiku for that purpose. And also you have the option to, to use Sonnet which is uh, you, something that you can see like a nice balance between intelligence and speed that is just right for a lot of things. So Anthropic built the, uh, the Cloud3 model family to offer the best set of models across intelligence, speed, and speed requirements, all at a lower cost than comparable models. For example, Cloud3 Opus is our most powerful, powerful model and the most intelligent model available in the market today. It achieves state-of-the-art intelligence superior to GPT-4 Turbo. Cloud3 Sonnet strikes a balance between intelligence and speed and is priced to be significantly cheaper than GPT-4 Turbo while achieving comparable levels of intelligence. Cloud3 Haiku is the fastest, most cost-effective model for high-volume use cases. Compared to GPG 3.5 Turbo, Cloud3 Haiku is smarter, much faster, and cheaper, 
and also has image to text vision capabilities that are comparable to the best vision models available on the market. And now what I want to do is to show you firsthand how you can do, you can easily do that on both Amazon Bedrock console and also using uh, Amazon Bedrock SDK. So now what I'm going to do is to do a quick demo to show the new capability available in Anthropic Cloud 3, which is the compu computer visioning capability. So basically you can provide an image and then ask whatever questions, question, whatever questions you want. And Anthropic Cloud is going to explain what is in the picture. And remember, this is not only available for a picture itself, but you can do the same for charts, tables, and so on and so forth. So for us to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the playground, select a new model, Amazon Titan generator, and ask it to create three different pictures. That's going to be an easy, uh, an easy task. So I'm asking to create uh, three different pictures with two horses on each, on each of them walking, walking in a far facing the camera. So that's the, the pictures Amazon Titan is going to create. And once it's done, you're going to see there will be a difference between them. Uh, the second step is going to basically to go to the playground uh, and access Anthropic Cloud 3, the new model which is available, which is uh, goes by the name of Sonnet, and I start asking questions. So uh, you guys are going to see firsthand this new capability, which is a powerful one. But before we do that, basically I'm going to download download each, each of these images as I'm doing right now and I'm going to the playground select the new model Tropic Cloud 3 Sonnet apply I'm gonna select the three new images I just created and I'll start and I'll ask the first question which is, what do these pictures have in common? Basically, what Anthropic Cloud 3 is going to say is that uh, these, all of these pictures have two horses each. Uh, there will be similarities between the horses, colors, and um, background, and things, uh, and things like that. And then I can ask a follow-up question like what are the differences between these images and as a follow-up question Anthropic is going to provide the difference from different perspectives like the background like the like the light uh, lighting time of the day camera angle framing horse positions and things like that so really straightforward forward, really powerful and you can give it a shot yourself in just a minute of seconds as I did. Now you're going to learn firsthand how to use the Amazon Bedrock SDK to access Anthropic Cloud 3. So the goal of this Jupyter Notebook is to use the Amazon Bedrock SDK to access Anthropic Cloud 3 and the new capability on computer visioning. So it's really straightforward. The first thing you need to do is to Initiate the Boto 3 client as you are used, used to do. No secret sauce. And that's exactly what I'm going to do down here. Then the second step is to initiate the client. And once I have initiated the, the client, now I'm ready to call Claude uh, 3 uh, Sonnet. The first, in the first example, I'm going to basically uh, inv uh, use the invoke model method to, to run a multimodal prompt synchronously, synchronously. 
meaning that I'm going to provide a, an image and also a prompt to be, to be evaluated by Cloud3 and you guys are going to see what the output looks like. So here is the, the source code. There is nothing special. Basically, I'm calling the invoke model as I'm highlighting here. I'm passing the body to this, and this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Then once I have this, I have created a, created a function which calls which calls uh, Barrock multimodal model, right? And which outputs the answer based on the image I'm going to be providing. So in this function, I, I read the image and provide a prompt, a prompt to Claude. And here you see a print on the, the response. And, the, uh, and, the, and also uh, the picture that I'm passing to the prompt. Really straightforward. So this is exactly what I'm gonna run right now. And now what I'm gonna do is to run a pic, uh, to run a prompt with this picture. As you guys can see here, it's a very straightforward question, which says, "What is in this picture?" And in this case, I'm showing a, a beautiful picture with a landscape of Rio de Janeiro. So you guys are gonna see that. And please notice the level of details the model is going to be providing. So here is the final answer. So this picture shows the fam famous Christ the Redeemer statue overlooking the city of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And also it provides details on what is the back, what is in the background like the sugar loaf mountain and additional additional details of this picture this is really straightforward so this is the json output the final answer only the text only the response and now what i'm going to do is, is something is slightly different i'm going to use the invoke model with, with a response stream which is going to do a multimodal prompt, which is going to run a multimodal prompt asynchronously. So the first step is really similar to the first one, but the only difference is that I'm going to re receive the answer, the response in chunks. And I have the stop reason, the stop sequence, output tokens that I can capture, that I can get from the request. And here is exactly where I call, what I invoke Amazon Barrow asynchronously. So this is a function and below I'm going to, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask questions about the United States density for each of the states. So we have a, the United States map. And we have this, the population density of U.S. states and territories on this. This is a, a picture uh, from 2020, but the purpose is only to, to let you know how we can use Anthropic Club to analyze images and provide insights based on ev everything you can provide. For example, this first invocation asks about the population density and Anthropic Law is going to provide more details based on the insight it can find while analyzing this image. So if I run this cell, you guys can see the output says this map depicts the population density across the different states in the United States. Uh, it also says that the darkest blue shades represent the most densely populated states with over 1,000 people per, per square mile. 
the lighter blue and green shades indicate states with moderate population densities ranging from 100 to 500 people per square mile and so on and so forth and as a follow-up question i'm going to ask what is the most densely populated state based on this image and after analyzing the image anthropic claude sonnet says new jersey is the most populated state most densely populated state in, uh, in the u.s and this is exactly right when we look at this map so once again thank you so much for watching this session i'm going to provide the link for this example in the descri description of this video and hope hope we to see you in the next session thank you